What if we are able now to cure people that doctors once told them you have only one month to live because of cancer? I've used an experimental treatment to remove any evidence of cancer. But as you can see, every one of these lesions has disappeared. A new study, an immunotherapy drug delivered unheard of results. In this video, I will teach you about one of the most beautiful medicines that humans have ever created. It's called immunotherapy. There's this one question that has always been on my mind since I learned biology. Why are we not able to fight cancer? Why can our bodies fight infections and viruses and bacteria, but not cancer? And now I understand, so let me show you how. So imagine with me that these are what we call the APCs, the body's police officers that walk around your body and check if there's anything wrong like viruses and infections in your body. If they find something suspicious, they send a signal to an operation center. In medicine, we call it a checkpoint. This checkpoint will then contact the elite forces, the Navy SEALs, you could say, the elite of the elite forces, to fight threats and enemies in your body, and we call them T-cells. These T-cells will then show up and attack the viruses and infections and try to make you healthy again. So why can't they just do the same thing against cancer? Well, as it turns out, cancer is extremely clever. It knows how to survive in so many different ways. But today, I will talk about two major ways it can do that. The first way is to attack the checkpoints, the place responsible for activating and informing your elite forces, the T-cells, so they won't be able to fire the cancer. And in such a way, the cancer can always keep growing without the immune system being able to do anything about it because you have no elite forces able to attack the cancer. The second way for cancer to avoid your immune system is to create a mask or change the way it behaves and pretend to be like a normal cell every time the immune system tries to check it. So the T cells will definitely not be able to notice any threats or anything weird to attack and save you from. The cancer is basically fully invisible at this point and will not be detected until it's too late. And here is where we needed immunotherapy. It can solve this problem in many different ways, but today I want you to focus on two of them. The first one is called SAR-T, where we take your elite forces and train them in a lab, make them stronger and train them to detect the cancer and even create more of them, and then inject them back in your body and now these new T-cells are what we call SAR T-cells. These highly trained T-cells right now are able to detect and attack the cancer and even recognize it if it tries to show up again in the future. The cancer shall not have any chance to survive against your immune system. The second immunotherapy type will work on the checkpoints in your body instead of the T-cells. The immunotherapy will fix these checkpoints that the cancer wanted to sabotage and destroy so your body wakes up and realizes that there is a dangerous threat that needs the elite forces and that these forces need to be produced and activate immediately. If we fix these checkpoints, then more T cells will be produced and the cancer will be attacked and should be removed from your body. And I promise you, if you go and read more about immunotherapy, you will be even more amazed how this system works. And in this video, I tried my best to simplify it and only focus on the main aspects of immunotherapy. So I want you to remember that this field is still relatively new and there are so many things that we're learning about immunotherapy every day from clinical trials, new patients, new type of cancers, and also the side effects that could follow this kind of immunotherapy treatments. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something from it and inspired you about the future and how far we have come in the war against cancer. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one.